In today's tech tip, we will be discussing how to properly and safely perform emergency load lowering for a hoist equipped with hydraulic motors. It should only be used in hoist equipped with gear type hydraulic motors and the needle valve and fitting installed from the factory, which can utilize internal motor leakage to permit the load to slowly rotate the motor even if the outlet is blocked by the closed brake valve. Emergency load lowering is to be considered a last resort only used in emergency situations. This procedure releases the static brake while leaving the dynamic brake or brake valve closed. This procedure will not work if there is little or no oil in the hydraulic motor. Equipment you will need includes a hand pump, standpipe, hand tools, hydraulic oil to be used in the standpipe, and drain pans and absorbent material to clean up any spilled oil. First, remove the lock wire on the needle valve and close the needle valve tightly. Then remove the cap on the brake cylinder T. Next, remove the two main hoses from the motor. Attach the standpipe to the lowering point of the motor on the opposite side of the motor from the brake valve. Install a plug into the hoisting port in the brake valve. Fill the standpipe with hydraulic oil. Check for leaks. If the oil is running out of the brake valve plug, stop the emergency load lowering procedure and repair the leak. Next, connect a hand pump to the open port in the T. Slowly operate the hand pump up to 1000 PSI or 68.9 bar. The suspended load will lower slowly when the static brake is released. Releasing the pressure on the hand pump will stop the load from moving. If chattering is heard when the load is coming down, use the hand pump to raise the pressure until the noise stops. However, do not exceed 1500 PSI or 103.4 bar to the brake release port. Attempting this procedure with the brake valve stuck in the open position will cause the load to free fall, which can result in property damage, serious injury, or death. Performing this procedure will create heat and may cause accelerated wear of the hoist brake system and hydraulic components. Do not touch the motor, brake valve, or standpipe while lowering a load as they may become hot enough to cause burns. After completing an emergency load lowering procedure, the hoist must be removed from service to inspect the brake components and motor for damage. If the procedure is performed due to a malfunction of the hoist, conduct a level 5 inspection to correct the cause of the malfunction before returning the hoist to service. Please contact the Packer Wentz Service Department for assistance before attempting this procedure. For more information, visit PackerWinch.com.